Hey guys and welcome to another episode of my Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Let's play today, we're doing the 150cc Special Cup. Our first course is, of course, I said course several times in that sentence. But um, our first course is Cloud Top Cruise. Hopefully we should be able to win it. We didn't do brilliantly on the Flower Cup, as we lost that. I can't actually remember if we won the Star Cup first go on up, but I think we did, so. Let's hope our luck from the last episode continues into this one and we win it first try. Because the only annoying thing about this series is having to redo episodes over and over again. Because it just takes a lot of time. Who's our main com Looks like it's going to be Dry Bones and Toad at the moment. I think it'd make more sense to be Mario, so maybe our main competitor's meant to be Mario. He's just not doing brilliant at the moment. I almost crashed into a wall there, but I'm fine. I managed to avoid it. The annoying thing with having to redo, le well, redo courses so it soon will be on to Mirror and 200 where I'll be losing fairly regularly so there's going to be a lot of redoing episodes for me unless I decide to just not upload getting the triple star but I'm pretty sure I still am going to do that so yeah it's going to take a while but we're not that far off finishing the Grand Prix now only a few more cups to go I'll say that there's 24 and then what are we on today special so that's 4 out of the 12 so 24 32 left 32 is still quite a long way to go actually then again when we're in 200cc the races will be going even faster than they are now and they're already going a lot faster than they were in previous episodes because the more CC in the cups the faster the cars go and 200 CC is obviously the fastest I don't want to take the shock because I think I'll fail I hope Toad doesn't take it good I don't think he did because he didn't overtake me Second race is Bone Dry Dunes. And. There we go. What? Why am I so bad at doing the starting boost recently? I seem to miss the boost every time. It is quite annoying. Good, he threw that, so I can take the shortcut then. And boost off into fast. Nice. If I haven't mentioned it. Yet we're using Peach today, which you should have noticed, even if I haven't mentioned it. Because the main thing to look at is whatever character I'm using. So yeah. I thought I'd used Peach to be honest, but what I've been doing is because I honestly have no idea which characters I haven't haven't used. Have and haven't used. Is just scrolling through my thumbnails and seeing which characters don't appear and I was just going in order and I've used Mario and Luigi or at least I think I used them both because I chose Peach so I must have used both of them well I know I used Mario in episode 1 but I don't know when I used Luigi because I'm assuming I have since whenever I decided to pick the character I picked I might have just picked it random out of all the ones that haven't been used because there are still a lot because there's 42 characters just on the main grid thing and then there's extra there's like me's there's well I have four no five me's I can use at the moment well I've used two but there's the Mario me well the normal me suit then Mario, Luigi, well, Animal Crossing, and Peach me suits as well, because I've got them for Amiibo. So, yeah, and then there's eight extra Yoshis, 
and a texture shy guys. Then there's Metal Mario. There's the two extra inkling colours for each one. So basically there's a lot more than 42. And if I got more amiibo there'd be even more. And I currently have. Because the more suits the more characters. I think I've worked out that at the moment I currently have 68 possible characters to pick based on the amount of amiibo I have. So I think that's right. So assuming it is right, we will not have used every single character by the time we finish the Grand Prix. And technically we'll never use every single character because I don't think I'm ever going to manage to get all the amiibo. Sadly, even though I want them. Just can't afford to be spending that much money on amiibo that only gives small functions I'd rather buy games because then I get a lot more functionality out of them and potentially even a series because how I buy things to do with gaming is based on how long I think I'll get valuable time out of it and for the same price as an amiibo I could probably get a game that I'd spend a lot more time in than I would scanning an amiibo and using certain small features they had to certain games. I did not mean to throw that. Steam Summer Sale won't be too far off, which will be nice for getting a ton of new games. Pretty much everything goes cheap. I'd like to do a series on a LEGO game at some point. I think I'd prefer them with controllers though, so I'd probably go for it on Switch, assuming they have any, because I like the Switch a lot. I want a Switch con Pro controller though, because so far I've not been able to find a perfect left joy-con. I've gone through two, both of them have had certain issues. The current one I'm using, sometimes the left um, stick thing, whatever you want to call it, joystick or whatever. Sometimes it decides not to work, like when you try to go right with it, it just doesn't work. And especially for Splatoon and platformers, that can be really annoying. It doesn't seem to get too annoying in Mario Kart. And it doesn't happen all the time, which is the weird thing. Um, and then there's also my other Joy-Con, where the L button doesn't work. Well, it does, but it's... You have to manually pull it back up again. Like instead of normally just bouncing back up, you have to pull it back up because it gets stuck. So it's not brilliant. However, I have heard that the Pro Controller is really good and has no issues, so that's why I'd like to get that. Plus it probably feels nicer. Why am I unable to do them start boosts when I'm not focusing on doing the start boost? Because if I've just turned worse at the game recently, I may fall off here because... Yeah, no, I'm fine. It's 200 cc mainly that I fail on that corner. This rainbow road's one of the few rainbow roads I actually struggle on. Then again, I only find it hard in 200 cc and... No other game has 200cc and the other two Ember Worlds, well, one of them's completely ruined and then the other one's just really simple. So, yeah. What what they did to the N64 one basically made it way too easy and way less fun. And then the SNES one, because it's from the SNES, it's not that difficult or complicated of a design, so it's very easy to not fall off. The only time you ever really fall off is if you just get an unlucky timing of items hitting you, that kind of thing. But this one on the other hand is actually difficult in 200, or at least I find it to be. Probably because I'm not used to it yet. I really need to get up to first, I mean sixth, 
don't fancy redoing this whole cup. Got one lap to go and I'm about to get in second, I think. Well, if I can overtake Petrupa. Which I can. And of course she has to eat my shell. I hate it when AI players do that. They just drive right behind you and, and get your item used up. How was I temporarily in second there? Was it the person that had fallen? into a deep hit of death. And I'm assuming so. I really need to be careful here because I'm not far ahead at all and I only have six coins and I'm bad at Rainbow Road. So just don't fall off and I should hopefully be fine. I think we're gonna get 10 coins now. Nope, failed. That was close, almost hit that banana. But we got first, so that will be our trophy completed for this cup, which is nice. I've decided that from now on I'm not going to actually show the trophy because it takes longer and it's not really necessary. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.